Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a stacked chart in Excel 2010. So first of all, let's take a look at what I mean by a stacked chart. I have a project here, which is running from January until June, a six-month project. And on my project team, I've got programmers, web designers, graphics artists and test engineers. And as you would expect, um, I've got a different requirement for the numbers of people depending on month throughout the project. So, for example, in January, I require one programmer, two web designers, one graphics artist, and zero test engineers. And for the other months of the project, the numbers change. And what my stacked chart over here allows me to do is to visually represent the data that you see in the table, and I can see each of the values being stacked on top of one another. So the blue across the bottom here, I can see from the legend that that represents the first line, which is our programmers. The red represents our web designers. The green represents our graphics artists. And finally, the purple represents our test engineers. So we can see at a glance, uh, you know, which months do we require most people. Uh, this is not as obvious from the table as it is from the chart. So I can see that in the month of March is when I require most people. That's when my team will be the biggest. I'll need 10 people altogether. And in the month of January, that's when I require the least amount of people, which is four altogether. And throughout all the months, you can see the different proportions um, for each value stacked upon one another in the chart here. So let's see how we go about making this chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete this one here. And creating, a, creating the chart is actually the simplest part of all of this. First thing I should do is select all my data, including the headings and the, t the titles here. So I've selected everything that's on that data sheet there. And then I go up to the Insert menu. And in the Central Chart section here, there's an option to create a column chart. So I'm going to select that. And I've got different options along here for different types of column chart. And the one I need here is the stacked column chart in the center of the 2D column at the top. Be very careful not to select the 100% stack column here. That's not the one we need, and it's a different type of chart, though they do look very, very similar. So let me go back and select the stacked column chart. And straight away, you can see that Excel has created the chart for me. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger to make it easy for you guys to see. And here is my chart. And I can see the color codes being represented by the legend here. I can see my uh, six months being displayed across the bottom and the numbers of people along the left-hand side over here. So this is a, a piece of data, a chart representing my pieces of data from the data table. And the handy thing about this is that I can select each section to s and see where it comes from. So when I select the blue, it tells me that the, it's the programmer line. When I select the red, it tells me that it's the web designer line, green for graphics artist, and finally the purple for the test engineer here. So if I wanted to see uh, the effect of changes uh, to the numbers of people on the chart, and that's quite simple to do. Let's say for the sake of argument that there's a change in your project, and in the month of April there's a requirement for some extra web designers. So we can see at the moment there's only one, and that's represented by the this red section in the stacked chart here for April. So keep an eye on that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the one value up here to four. Let's say we needed three extra web designers during the month of April, so I'm press type in four and press enter. And you can see that this central value here um, in the mid column has changed to reflect the change on the table. So if you need to make any changes or, or if, you're, if you're unsure um, of um, how many people you need in any month or you want to balance the resources so there isn't too many in one month and not enough in the other, you can make the changes and see the effect on your visualization here. So let me just change that back to one so that we get back our original chart. Final thing to do in this video is is to change it to uh, improve the look and feel of this chart. So if I just simply right click on anywhere on the chart area, the pop up menu allows me to change the chart type here in the center. So I'm going to select that, and this gives me a window which allows me to change my graphic to any of the types which any column type graphic that is available in Excel. Once again, be careful not to select the 100% stacked columns. It's the ordinary stack columns that you need and the one I'm going to choose here is I'd like to see it in the cylinder format uh, and in 3D so if I select that and click OK then my chart is much much nicer if we was doing a presentation with these data uh, this would be far more effective and far more visually appealing than the ordinary flat graphic that we just saw and in this I can still select each of the values each of the sections a little bit more obvious in the 3D version uh, to represent my data on the table and of course I can make changes to any of the values and that will be reflected on the table 
So that's how you create a stacked column chart in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.